Greetings, YouTube. Conservative politicians of America, rejoice! Voter fraud has been discovered in East Longmeadow in Western Massachusetts. The state, the Secretary of State of Massachusetts, one William Gallon, said, an employee in the town clerk's office allegedly changed the party affiliation of hundreds of registered voters from Democrat to Republican without their knowledge and then cast absentee ballots on their behalf. So, there you go. Proof that voter fraud happens. But for some strange reason, it wasn't committed by Democrats. It was committed by Republicans and not Republican voters at the voting booths, at the ballot boxes, but no. By someone on the inside at a town clerk's office undermining the voting rights of American citizens, stealing their right to vote in an election by a Republican. Now, I'm sure all the conservative voters in America, all the conservative politicians, will sweep in there and clear out this malfeasance to make sure that the voters of America have their privileges, as opposed to no creating voter ID laws which disenfranchise the elderly, the young, and minorities, many of whom would be voting Democratic. But I'm sure that it's just happenstance that all the voter ID laws that are currently being put forth or already have been put forth are disenfranchising the people that Republican voters really don't want to go to the polls. So tell me, what's worse a handful, and I'm talking a literal handful of potential voter fraud done by individual Americans at the polls, or a single person at a clerk's office undermining the voting rights of hundreds of Americans all at one stroke.